Brimstone. <laughs> Can't tell you twins apart. Now, what do you shave? And whatever your name is, take a good look around. <laughs> The painted lady! <laughs> Give me that glass. from the law. You are alone? Yeah, Mexican dragoons been breathing down my neck for the past week. Why? Oh, they figure I got a few trinkets in my saddlebag don't rightly belong to me. Like what? Oh, some silver and some of the prettiest green stones you ever saw. Don't know what they are. Emerald. Strange is not welcome aboard my ship. Well, <laughs> then I'd best keep riding. Oh, if them dragoons turn up, I'd be mighty great if you point them in the wrong direction. Hey, Millicent, mister, what can you do? I'm a rotten cook. <laughs> you can't be anywhere than Tug. Come on aboard. Much obliged. I got my gear. Oh. <clears throat> Why, you... Kill <gasps> your own man. <laughs> <laughs> to shoot a fellow captain? Velvet, captain's coat. Here's your coat, Admiral. The world is yours, captain. And you can have my horse. You pay for that. May he rest in peace.
<laughs> Push the flag. Whoa! 
¡Seguir al burro! and make us a map. Where will we meet? The vulture tree. And don't lose your sense of direction. All right, move him out. Move him out. Take the silks along. You mean you trust him? No. I'm signing on with my brother. You're staying here with us. Hey. Hey. What if one of us gets killed? Huh? I mean, what about his share of that saddlebag gold? Can't spend it in hell, can he? this up. Donkey. 
Hey, Peg. Hey, Peg. Looky here, Peg. I made us a tally sheet. Tally and what? I crossed off crow, and this here's banshee, Dutch, Mohawk, and Prairie Flower. That's only 11 of us to divvy up the gold. Which is your mark? Huh? Someone lets the air out of your skull. I want to know the right one to cross off. <laughs> ah, you laugh. Your brother don't show up. I want to see you laugh. Box Canyon. Box Canyon. Right. Dead. right here. Right here. Meet him. Where's the grog, mate? Just bury those pretty silks, mate. Hello. Bring that gold. Oh, why do I? Dollar to see if there's another way out of here. That's what they was. Brimstone. We'll find him. We 
start right now. Is that a gun you're pointing? And I know how to use it. Well, and there's a lot more where that come from. And it'll buy more than one bottle. <laughs> Look at this. I said put the bottle down and take your money and go. Man, you wouldn't. You wouldn't turn me out in this foul weather, would you? Get out. But my bones is rattling. I got to shake. He does look sick. Get over to the fire. I thank you kindly, ma'am. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. That needs taking care of. Oh. I'll clean it first, then make a potters. Oh. Jamie, you get some power. Oh. 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 Boy, boy. Be a good lad. Fetch me a drink. But my sister wouldn't like it. Well, just a, just a swallow. Please. All right. Baracho, Baracho. What's your parrot's name? Barnfly. Barfly. Jamie, I told you to fetch towels. 
Getting him to do something is like eating soup with a fork. Pretty girl. What do you drink? Shut him up, mate. I'm paying. You think he's going to die? Hush! Jamie, will you please put Bo in the barn and get the wagon hitched up? Oh, Bo. I think I'd better get Mr. Aragon. You're always going after him. The bigger the mouth, the better it looks shut. Howdy, son. Drinks on the house. Mm, pretty bird. Mm, mm, took a tumble down the stairs, did he? Hate to tell you this, lad, but your pa's dead. He isn't my pa. Mm, who is he? Don't know. That's your blanket. We'll cover them. Don't look nice to have a dead man in the parlor. Son of a birch tree. Shut up, you jabber whiskey head. Where's the map? You're going your numbers up. You're going your numbers up. something with his name on it. Hmm? Don't seem right to bury a man without his name, does it? Which is his room? Hmm? You lay that blanket on him. I'll look through his war bag. Hmm? Better hurry before the flies start swarming. Jamie. He's here. He's here. Come on, look at me. 
He's a one-legged man. Yeah, well, I, I thought. Dad, who's that? Oh, You're not making any sense. I saw it go through his pocket. I Stop. did. That's what he's doing in his room right now, looking for a map. A map? Look at the gold he was spending. The rest buried. He said so many a time. There's got to be a map, sir. Woe unto the wicked, saith the Lord. Woe unto Stay the here. wicked. And there's the wicked, wrung up like the grass. Both of all you. the workers of iniquity flourish. It was that they might be destroyed forever. Like sheep they are laid in the grave, death shall feed on them. And the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume the grave from their dwelling. It's money you're after. You're holding up the wrong man. Miss Lucy, the room upstairs, please. See if it has been touched. Jamie, his rifle. Forgot something. Do you mind telling us who you are and where you come from? Mind telling me who you are and why you see fit to hold a pistol on me? Me with nothing in my hand but a good book? You are going through his pockets. You're right. Jim? Is that your name? Mighty partial to that name. James. From the Bible. Runs to my family. Well, were you going through his pockets? I did dip my hands in that stranger's pockets, hoping to find his name tucked away. The room's tidy, except for a broken window. Being a part-time saddlebag creature, I've buried many a man. Yes, sir, many a man, and I do like to get the name straight. For a man of God, you carry many weapons. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Isaiah 34, I go by the book. He does know his scriptures. Oh, I've been smoking. I've been reading the Bible for years, man. Why would this man be running for his life from a one-legged preacher? Did he say that? Didn't say it was a preacher. Which leg, right or left? Say. Makes a smart lot of difference. A bow-legged, one-legged man, he say that? No, but he called him Captain once. Captain? <laughs> Do you see any barnacles on me? Huh? Tattoos? <laughs> I'd as soon let the moon shine in my mouth as leave dry land. You still haven't told us your name. You still haven't put that gun away. John Pettibone Stewart. My friends call me Peg. I'm on my way to Texas. In desperate need of a Bible. A Bible? Oh, nothing as grand size as this, ma'am, and I do prefer a thinner paper. <laughs> Easier to carry. Well, I'll look for you. Bless you, child. Lost mind, a pack of savages up north. Remind me to tell you. Ah, liar, liar, liar. Ah! <laughs> ah, the poor orphan. Jamie? Yeah. Let's you and me find a pickaxe and a shovel. And scout out a fine resting place for the deceased here. Huh? Come on. I'll take care of it. No, don't you trouble yourself, Mr. Uh, Aragon. Aragon in Cantato. This crooked leg ain't never stopped me from honest toil yet. Oh, uh, services in about an hour. Lord, we'll herd her together on a mighty solemn occasion. A man is dead, leaving no one to grieve for him except his faithful parent. And with the kind permission of these two young people, we bury this stranger besides the graves of their beloved mother and father. Not knowing the gent's name, I'll have to commend him to you by guesswork posting. He appears to be a man of the sea. And I'd be surprised if he's seen the inside of a preach house since he was frying side. Oh, I reckon the places he's been are so sinful they'd make hell look like a firefly. But I wouldn't be surprised if you was to quarry his heart, you'd find a ton of gold. Uh, 99 West 25 North. Jamie, keep that bird quiet. And I hope this stranger's privileged to go gallivanting straight up to heaven. If you can find a spare set of wings that ain't in use. Do you perform weddings? I don't get much call for that in these spaces. Jamie? 
That bird's taken quite a fancy to you. Yes. Mr. Stewart, I do hope you'll stay for dinner. Help you cook it, too. <laughs> no, you can just go to the hen house and choose a nice fat chicken. Would you? Can't say no to a lady. Never could. <laughs> If you wouldn't mind, pluck it too. Ah, <laughs> certainly. A chicken plucker. I think he knows where this came from, sir. Look at him. I'm sure he does. Ah, pass the bottle, mate. Pass the bottle. Ah, give me a drink. Give me a drink. Ah. And a whole lot more. Come on, you little sneak. The gold bar fly. Where's it hid? Come on, tell me. Ah. Get the map. There ain't no man. Put him on the parrot. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, that parrot, he knows a thing or three. I bet he's giving him a golden ear for right now. What are we waiting for, then? I ain't anxious to keep tangling with Mexican dragoons. These folks might come in handy. I say we wring their necks. You make the move when I say the word. Mexico. Mexico. That's what he said. What do you think? I think there is treasure there. Let's go after it. Won't it be dangerous? I mean, Indians and bandits. We'll run sheep. Everyone knows it's a waste of time to rub sheep herders. You're brilliant, Mr. Aragon. I'll take Sandy and Benjamin. And me. I'll need a sextant. We've got one. Bueno. Oh, Jamie. Not a word to anyone. A matter like this could start a stampede. Clara? Yes, sir. I'll start getting my things ready. Oh, moment. An expedition of this nature is not for a lady. Mr. Aragon, there are lots of things I can do. Well, I can cook and sew them and just... Uh, Mr. Stewart! Oh, Eagle. Mr. Aragon's taking me on a trip. A real adventure. What for? To, uh, help run sheep. Indian. Bandit country. Sheep. Boy, that's a slow way to travel. Wish you could come too, Mr. Stewart. I wish you'd stop calling me Mr. Stewart like I was great folks. Call me Peg. All right, sir. Uh -huh. Peg. That's better. You ever fight Indians? Did I ever fight Indians? You notice the way I sit? Are my biting tools handy? Walk that way too. You gotta be real careful in Indian country. Man never knows what's lurking. Always keep your fighting tools close by. Yes, sir. I'm okay. Let's say I was walking along, minding my own business. When out of nowhere pops eight scalp hunters. Get the wagon in a circle. Where's the women folk? Send someone back to the fort for help. This was mine. I missed. We're running out of water. Keep down! Ah, oh, let's kill them all! Ah. Muy bien! Ah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. That's only seven. I got the eight with my bare hands. <laughs> Go get my fighting tools. Senor Stewart, I would like you to join us as an Indian fighter. I will gladly pay two dollars a day. That's mighty generous of you, but this warp timber mine ain't got many miles left in it. You just have your men carve me up a good oaken leg. Leave Jamie home. I'll go in his place. Here, Peg. I can't make chicken dinner without chicken. Take this in. Sure, Peg. <laughs> Is it a deal? The boy stays here. Jamie? Sir? I can't take you with me. 
Miss Lucian would not sleep a wig while you were gone. But I'm big enough. But a woman small, delicate. Delicate? Lucianne? You are big enough. Big enough to look after your sister. Jamie. A ripping tooth from the biggest grizzly this side of the Mississippi. You almost got me, too. I want you to wear it for good luck. Made candy out of cactus once. Cactus? Yeah. What did it taste like? Candy. You use the thorns to pick your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, can't you stand still long enough for me to get a measurement? Hey, now, Sandy, don't you make that leg too short. I don't want to limp. <laughs> <laughs> no, General Jackson once said to me, I used to cook for General Jackson. He said, Peg, you give me the finest case of indigestion I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin, good pasta. What's that all about? Hey, Jamie! Jamie, <laughs> has something happened to Lucianne? No, sir. You deserted her? Never would have run off without permission. No, sir, never. First thing in the morning, you're going right back. Get something to eat. Cuida del caballo. Bueno, vamos a descansar ahora. Hi, Peg. Mr. Stewart, to you. Ain't nobody looking. Nothing to drink but coffee. You have to do without. I want to drink coffee all the time. Hardly had time to catch your breath, and you told another lie. Here. Thanks. Mm, it's great. What is it? Snake stew. I like the bear's tooth. Thanks. Oh. I got you a Bible, Peg. Huh? Yeah. Mr. Stewart. Lucien dug it out of my mum's old trunk. Paper's thin, and it's small, just like you wanted. Right. <laughs> Jamie. Yes, sir? Get some sleep. But I ain't going back.
I'm sorry, Miss Lucy, for all the trouble he's caused you. But you take him back and make sure he stays. I left her at your place. You what? And closed up the inn. Well, I figured we might as well both go along. Look, let me take them both back home. Oh, he'd only run off again. I won't permit you to do this. But you can't stop me, Mr. Aragon. I've already done it. All right, but behave like a lady, even if you don't look like one. I told you I wasn't going back. I'll tell you something. If you end up crowbing, it'll be your own fault. I'll scout up ahead. I'll swing around the other side. Well, be careful. Stop mothering everybody. Shut up. <laughs> Short-handed in the event of attack. I can offer a dollar a day and excellent meals. Dollar a day? <laughs> that ain't bad. Get my men. Yeah, come on. We'll be right back. Mr. Aragon, I reckon you know what you're doing. Those critters look awful ugly to me. I want them to fight Indians, not to look at. Trust my judgment, Mr. Stewart. Yeah, I wish I could trust mine. People have been able to fool me all my life. <laughs> oh.
are on guard duty tonight. Hey, look. <laughs> look, just picked him clean. That's Mudhook. Huh? Lost a lot of weight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's you, Mud. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> real tasty. When are you getting your new leg? Eh, uh, pretty soon now. Pretty soon. How's your old one holding out? Fine. Every man should have one. Look, you can use it as a weapon. Ha! Huh? A hot rack. A knife rack? That's wonderful. <laughs> now look. You can stoke the fire. You can stir the stew. Huh? <laughs> now you stir it for a while. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> hey! Not with your foot. <laughs> you this. Come on. Jamie! <laughs> That's a beauty. Why, a king would be proud to wear a leg like that. Let me try it on. <laughs> yeah. Let me see it. Jamie, look at that. Hey. <laughs> I wish I had one. <laughs> well, Benjamin did most of the work. <laughs> That's a leg, I tell you. Fit for a king. Huh? Dirty peg a shark got his leg too bad he didn't get more. Oh, one day, thank the Lord, someone pushed him overboard. And we swam and he swam, but he never reached the shore. Poor peg ain't with us anymore. There you go. There you go. I guess you know when your number's up, you go. Get the whiskey, get the wine, get the whiskey, get the wine, cause you know when your number's up, you go. On you go, yes, you know when your number's up, you go. <laughs> When I was a gypsy and so far to the amor, I was so much in love with a and sea. But one day her husband came knocking at the door, and fly speck went a flying from the very top floor. He never went in love with anymore. No, he never went in love with anymore. There you go. Don't you know? That you go when your number's up, you go. It could be a false alarm, take a girl and eat her arm, but you know when your number's up, you really have to go. Yes, you know when your number's up, you go. There you go. There you go. Yes, you know when your number's up, you go. With a finger in your hand, yeah, you can't go in your hand, but you know when your number's up, you go. Yes, you know when your number's up, you go. Go, go, yes, you know when your number's up, you go. Go, go, go. He's such a beautiful dog. Well, it's not much further. Tomorrow we'll get an early start. Well, then I'd better get some sleep. Isn't he the nicest man? He's such a gentleman. Dance very well. Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank you. Sleep well. How dare you come in here? Oh, I drink up. Get out. Get Oh, 
Said. Now the lot of you, get. Let's go. You did right, Senor Erica. Don't cry to me. Keep moving. Jamie, we was lucky. We could have been murdered in our sleep. And I will love you If you love me I will bring you flowers from the forest Cherries from the tree treasure the whole time. That's a secret, Peg. Well, I'm proud of you. Keeping a secret is almost as hard as not telling a lie. But it isn't a secret anymore, Peg. Huh? Listen. Ten of gold. Ten of gold, 99 press, 25 dollars, box catch, under bridge.
Why don't you try counting sheep? Couldn't I go down, take a look around, and come right up again? Morning soon enough. Good night. Hey, Jamie. Good night, Peg. Amigo, you're a good friend. I've always lived my life by the good book. Sleep well. You was mighty slow getting here. Going that canyon? Going down to get it. Now. Never get the gold, Mr. Stewart. You got the drop on me, Jamie. I'm proud of you. You did it quicker than a cat can lick his ear. You lied to me. Well, just kinda. Like trying to keep a secret, Jamie. Same as you. You lied to all of us. Of course, the first time's the hardest. Well, I won't hold it against you, Jamie. I know just how you feel. You go right ahead. Go right ahead. Pull the trigger. Hey, Peg, what are you doing? Hey, there he goes. Uh, what did you do that for? You want them all down on top of us? I saw somebody go by on a donkey. I'm sick of looking for the boy. Let's get the gold. Help yourself. I better get back on top. Well, where is it? Barry Break will catch you hauling gold up this ladder. Aragon looking down with a pistol. We better wait. I'm sick of waiting. And we're sick of being tied to your limp. Tell us where the gold's hid, Peg. We'll let Aragon do the digging for us. Stay here till we get the gold. Make yourself comfortable. Don't hurt the boy. Hey, what you doing? 
One of these days. I found the gold. I found the silver bird. Come on. Sphere, watch the ladder. We were robbed. Oh, where's the gold? Hey, we're getting company. Come on. Must have woke up early and give me the slip. That scalawag's got no sense at all. Ah, don't worry. He's probably off exploring somewhere. You just go treasure hunting. I'll find Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Don't worry. You look in there. Andy, the gold. Yeah. Where is he? He must have grown wings and flew out of here. I don't want the boy, I want the Hold gold. Hold it down. Don't worry, we'll get that gold. Move it. We gotta control that ladder. Move! Come on, Speck. Yeah, Peg. Climb up and hoist it out of reach. Somebody's up there, Peg. You can handle him. He's a big fella. He's on the lookout for us to come the other way. Use your knife. Senor Stewart, your friend might control the ladder, but he'll lower it for the gold. Come on! Get him and who lets down the ladder?
get over there and get that ammunition belt. I'll cover you. Trade him for the gold. All of it. Ain't you a mite greedy? Yeah, well, I'll let you fill your pockets. You'll find I got big pockets. Get him. Yeah, you make the deal first. We got him, you got the gold. We'll make a swap. <gasps> Better throw down your guns. Jamie. Throw down the ladder. We'll make a deal. We've got the gold now. Throw it down. But if it's all right with you, I'll let it down, pal. What are we gonna do? How do we get out? We had a balloon. Oh. 
hot air balloon. That's it. The suit. Come on. Let's get the suit. Jamie, Sandy, the fire pit, the big one. Lucia, you got your needle? Yes, Mr. Argo. Bueno, start sewing. Sandy, I want to thank you for this leg. Won't be using it much longer, but... <laughs> we meet. That's enough wood, Jamie. Now let's get the seat. Up 
Mr. Opego, when the folks all down below, they'll say, Sam. They'll say, Peg, I told you so. Sam, there I am. Peg, how'd you lose your leg? I've told so many lies about it, I can't even remember. Don't have much of a memory. Don't. Jamie, I can remember things that never happened. Did you hurt when they sawed your leg off? Not much. They did it in New Orleans, and the folks from Baton Rouge heard me yelling. That's only 50 miles off. <laughs> but I can still feel that leg. Yeah? Sometimes it itches right at the bottom of my foot. And I close my eyes and wiggle my toes, and ah, it's a nice feeling. But the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, and right now that leg's in heaven. That's right. After all, if I'm bad, don't mean every part of me's bad. And when they hang me, the rest of Peg Stewart be in hell. Oh, I deserve it. It's strange. Have your leg up in heaven. And the rest of you, down below. I might have been a different man. I haven't lost that leg. You better hurry. I'm disappointed in you. You lied when you ran away from your sister. And now, while on guard duty, you're trying to help a desperate criminal to escape? You want to grow up to be like me? Yes. Yes, I do, Peg. Don't you ever think that way, you hear? You ain't learned a thing. Reckon it'd be best if you saw me stretched by the neck. That's a pretty ugly sight. Here I thought you'd grow it up. When I saw you up in that balloon, I was proud of you. Jamie will do, I thought. Jamie's got more savvy than a tree full of owls. But I was wrong. Be like me. No, sir. You had me fooled, but I'm staying. Please, Peg. Leave Ain't now. Nothing can make me change my mind. They'll hang you. It wouldn't surprise me if you tried to follow me. No. No, I won't. I promise. I promise. All right. I'm going. Will I ever see you again? You wouldn't be as hard to find as a bunkhouse rat, but that passed me across. Maybe when you're full grown up. <laughs> I rightly enjoy seeing you full grown up. Where'll you go? New Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah, I always figured to settle down there someday. If I ever got money ahead. Put up a fine restaurant. Best of everything. Ah. You ever get to New Orleans, you drop in. Sure, Peg. Promise? I promise. All you can eat. I'm out. I want you to have this. It came out of the biggest shark ever caught in the Gulf of Mexico. I caught it. Bring your luck.
poor pig. He was born to set a bad example. Now you remember me that way. You hear? I will.